The Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab says that the UK and Pakistan have a shared interest in securing a stable and peaceful future in Afghanistan. Mr Raab has visited the border between the two countries and announced help for areas expecting an influx of refugees. But he said aid inside Afghanistan would be given only to charities, not directly to the Taliban. Our Afghanistan correspondent, Sekanda Kamani, along with cameraman Malik Murasir, report from Kabul. Side by side, Taliban fighters and local residents. This is Friday prayers in Kabul. A cleric from the group tells the congregation their jihad is changing from a military campaign to one ridding society of corruption. They're still yet to establish a new government, but an announcement is expected soon. What we want the new government to do is tackle poverty and unemployment. Whenever they announce it, people will be able to properly get back to work and the economy will improve. Uh, the most uh, important is peace, prosperity, second, and uh, Emirat Islami must try to uh, consolidate and make the unity between the Afghan nations. Already, the face of this city is changing under the influence of its new rulers. For years, these blast walls painted over with bright and inspiring murals had been a colourful feature in Kabul. Now you can see women's faces have been blacked out and the Taliban have told decorators to paint over all of this, replacing it with these black and white slogans. This one reads, the blood of the martyrs has washed away the occupation. A glimpse of what the new Afghanistan is going to look like. Close by, this beautician shop has also been ordered to paint over its signage. Despite Taliban assurances women will be allowed to work, many fear they'll be erased from public life. This morning in Kabul, a protest by female activists demanding equal rights. Earlier this week, Taliban leaders said women wouldn't be given senior roles in the new government. Throughout decades of war, women have suffered a lot, mentally and physically. After a lot of effort, they managed to create a space for themselves and achieve some equality and justice while retaining their Islamic identity. If we lose all this, it will have a very negative impact on Afghanistan. Some aren't waiting to find out what the new government will look like. These Afghans are stuck at the border with Pakistan. The UK's foreign secretary, who's been visiting Pakistan, told the BBC he wanted the Taliban to live up to promises to allow those Afghans eligible to leave the country to do so. What's important for the UK and our, uh, uh, all of our partners, whether it's in the EU, the US, but also in the region, including Pakistan, is to try and exercise the maximum moderating influence on the Taliban. So whether it's safe passage, whether it's uh, no safe haven for terrorism, we need to send a clear message. Afghanistan is changing fast and will change even more in the coming days. But no one's yet clear what exactly the future will look like. Sikandar Kamani, BBC News, Kabul.